welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 15th of August. The local media headlines today. Now we might get some rain today, but it won't be enough to lift the drought order which came into effect in Cornwall on Friday. But at least we've got a local chap in charge. Congratulations to St Austell and Newquay MP Steve Double, who can enjoy at least a few weeks in the national media spotlight as the Minister for Water. He's got off to a good start, highlighting the way Southwest Water just wastes the stuff by letting it leak out of cracked and broken pipes, while paying dividends to its private shareholders. If you were driving east on the A30 past Red Ruth on Friday, you'll have noticed one impact of the weather – lots and lots of very busy firefighters. Another climate story sees people living on St Mary's looking forward to the arrival this week of tons of big rocks designed to keep rising sea levels at bay. And Eastern Airways has confirmed that its heavily subsidised flights to Newquay are mostly for the benefit of people who just want cheap holidays in Cornwall. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and led with that report about how Cornwall's new look health and social care system has got off to a shaky start. The paper points to an independent assessment of the new integrated care system and suggests that it cares more about spin than substance. The BBC had a roundup of the weekend's wildfires. The Falmouth Packet warns readers of a local road closure. Pirate FM thinks we could be in for three days of thunderstorms. And finally, Cornwall Live has gone back to talking about Gordon Ramsay. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs>